Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to level up really quick right here on Fortnite. So first of all, we're going to take a look at what you can do in every single season in order to level up fast. Obviously, what you have to do is go right into your quests. Look at weeklies. Make sure you get all those done to give you 50k XP. That will guarantee you will level up fast. Next up is your dailies. You want to do your dailies just for the bonus that you get. So you get 15k, but once you're done doing that, do not bother doing the other ones that only give you 1k XP. That's way too low. Besides that, take a look at any other quests that you guys see here that give you a lot of XP. Don't bother with anything that gives you just 1k. And then you want to go into milestones. For milestones, there are ways to get these done quicker so you get those 6k. For example, for headshots, this actually worked, this type of glitch. It wasn't really a glitch, but you could do headshots on wolves and other animals and that would count as a headshot. So that was the trick around it. Other than that, if you got saved the world, that's another way to level up. Each mission will get you at least 30k XP. And if you got endurance or some of your buddies have endurance, you can go ahead and join them and just let it be and you will level up at least five levels for doing endurance. Now when it comes down to XP glitches, yes, some XP glitches are awesome and they work. In some seasons, other seasons, XP glitches get patched right away. This season, there's been uh, quite a few XP glitches. They haven't been the greatest, but hey, you get two or three levels from them, which is good. Now every season, there's something different that we can do in order to level up fast. In this season, for example, we can go to red versus blue, and that seems to be the way to go about this. So again, this is red versus blue. It's right here. So in red versus blue, you're gonna get XP for the time that you play, plus the kills. So you guys can see the code for the one that I'm using at the moment. That's the red versus blue. It's on top of my screen. For headshots, you can get up to 4K XP, and each kill can get you around 1 to 2K XP. So that's why in red versus blue, you can really build up your XP and level up really quick. Now, if you have a couple of friends that can play red versus blue with you, you can kind of trick this thing because you guys can take turns just doing a bunch of headshots on each other and that way you can level up even faster. So once again, this gave me 1,300k XP. That's for now. It usually does build up. If you get a couple kills, they do give you extra XP. But again, this would be for this season. So as you guys could see in that XP, I almost got 2k for that one kill. Anyways, that's why I never recommend buying levels because it makes no sense. We did a 10 day challenge so in 10 days, actually less than 10 days, we actually hit level 100. Now in order to get to level 200, again, we're going to do a 10 day challenge and then we're going to be level 200 so we can complete the whole battle pass, which completes the bonus rewards, which would be great this time, actually, because these pages are becoming unlocked in nine days. And that's just about it when we're completing our challenge. And that's it. That's the secret recipe to leveling up right for this season. Again, if you don't have Save the World, it's not a big deal. I've used it very little during this season. In other seasons, I've used it a lot more. And I do want to mention that way before when Imposters was a thing, it used to give you a ton of XP. So it's good to look for those maps that give you a ton of XP and take a look at those. So that way you can go on and level up quick. And no, you do not need to play for hours on end to level up. This is the quick way to level up. Because, hey, none of us have that much time to play. So the time that we play, we make sure we get the most XP out of it. Now, quick tip when you're completing your dailies, for example. Just get your friends in your game, play Team Rumble, and complete them. That way, you're going to get them done in just one round. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.